So in a crawl space like this, I feel very at home. This is the kind of place where we have so many layers of what people have been trying to do over the years. We've added a newer water heater. We've done things to the chimney up here. This water heater is what's called atmospheric draft. I can stick my hand into the airstream there. Don't do that. What I wanna do is find out if this thing is safe. I can see very clearly here that the plastic rings on top are melted out of shape. Probably hot gas has been spilling out and melting the plastic for a really long time. Also, crumbly bits. And these little crumbly bits are probably from the chimney. If they're right here, then chances are we're gonna see them down below as well. So we've got a big pile of this crumbly bits on top of the combustion platform inside of the water heater. And what that means is that I've got stuff in the way of the flames. And anytime I put stuff in the way of the flames, I'm gonna create carbon monoxide generally is one of the things. So what I'm gonna do first is fire up combustion analysis. So we're gonna kick this guy on. And the very first thing that I can feel is that we're spilling. You can see my glasses are all fogged up. Now what you can see from the actual combustion analysis is that even though I thought that we would have a lot of carbon monoxide created by this big pile of crumbly bits on top of the combustion platform, we're getting two parts per million. We're not really worried about this until it gets to be about 100. So it's not a life-threatening situation, but it is something that we're gonna wanna fix. Is the problem that this thing needs to be replaced? I actually don't think so. This is running the way that it was probably designed to. Is the problem that the chimney needs to be replaced? Well, we can run a pressure test on the chimney and find out what the pressure in there is. And we've got negative two. There are gases going up the chimney, which is a good thing. It's possible that this thing is actually just too small. So we've got a three inch flue on this and it probably should just be four inches. What we would wanna do is move on to the furnace and test both of them running together, each of them running independently of each other to find out exactly what is going on with the chimney. And you can do that without breaking into the chimney or getting up on the roof, which is the beauty of all of these numbers. You can find out things in the invisible layers that you can't see. 